No more scrolling through hundreds of photos to find the image you are looking for. Technology consultant Francie Black is here to show us an app that lets you organize, edit, and clean out those duplicate photos. This is interesting, Francie. Yeah, this is one of my favorite apps. This is my go-to utility app for photos. Okay, so you have a lot of specialty apps that will do one thing. Well, this really is very comprehensive and does it all. So it helps you organize, you can edit apps, you can clean out photos, and you can do a lot more. So we're going to focus on the organization. So the classic problem is you're trying to find a picture from maybe your wedding or your bridal shower and sure. you're scrolling through and <laughs> get tired of it and give up. <laughs> give up. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, this solves all those problems, but um, the app is called Hash Photos. Okay. And um, you open it up and it takes you, you're basically viewing what's in your camera roll. And if you swipe, you'll notice automatically that you get, uh oh, there we are. Is it? Oh, we got a little delay. Here we go. Um, yeah, it gives us a timeline that you can use to navigate through your photos. And so if you want to go back to, say, Christmas of December 2015, it'll automatically jump there very quickly. I can swipe again left and then go back to today. And now we're back at today's photo. So that's nice. just one quick way to do that. Now, the other thing that you've noticed in here in this timeline, things like I've got state gymnastics competition or China or CES, Consumer Electronics Showcase Event. So you can add events to your timeline. So let's say, um, like for your wedding or for your bridal shower, you could select a date within your photo roll, okay? And then you just name that event and you, you know, for you, for your bridal shower maybe, sure. and then it would show up in your timeline over here and you can jump directly to those photos. Group them together. And yep, okay. see them very quickly and very easily. Now, in terms of grouping, what you can do is tag photos. Do you know what tagging is? I don't know if a lot of people I know. Don't, well, not on an <laughs> iPhone really. Okay, so what tagging is, tagging is really used for searching. It's like keyword search sure. kind of, okay? Makes sense. So this is really powerful for tagging. What you can do is um, select photos. So I'm going to grab a couple of photos here and I'm going to hit the tag button and I can tag this for any keyword that I want it to be. I can call it my child's name, John. Um, it can be a location. It could be an event. It could be anything and you can tag it with multiple tags. What that allows you to do is when you go back down here to search, you can search by those tags. And if I tap on it, if you see, I can search by any of those tags that I've placed. And in this case, I'm gonna say, show me all my pictures of cousins, search, and it will find those wow. pictures very quickly that and very cool. easily. Yep, super easy. Okay, one last thing that I'm gonna show you is if you swipe left, okay, mm -hmm. so swipe right gives you your timeline, swipe left gives you your albums, but down in your albums, in the bottom right-hand corner, you can do things like create private albums. So you can do things like put a passcode on a group of photos, okay, um, which is nice. And then the last one is smart albums. So those tags that I mentioned, so let's say you have three kids, John, Sue, and Sally. You can tag those individual pictures to help you quickly find pictures of your kids. But then you could create a smart album called family and use those tags and will automatically add their pictures into mm -hmm. that album. Again, super quick, super easy. We are literally just scratching the surface of what this app can do. You can do full-blown editing. You can do layering. You can very cool. convert them into GIF images. It's very full Good feature. Good for Android and iPhone? This one is iPhone only. Okay. And there's a free version, and then there's the paid add-ons as well. I'll be sending out all that information. If you shoot me an email at info at iPadWisdom.com, um, I'll be sending that out to subscribers. All right. If you want to learn more about the apps Francie showcased, of course, go to WLOS.com. Click on Tech Time. We'll be right back.